view to this venue, it doesn't it doesn't affect us obviously because we close at midnight. Right. But on a whole, I have worked in nightclubs and pubs in the area for about ten years, so I think they have their place and their time. But I don't think it is the answer because if you're pushing, you know, say you're at a nightclub and at three a.m. they cut off drinks and at three thirty everyone has to be out of the venue, you're throwing you know potentially three hundred to five hundred people onto the street all at once, and then there's not enough taxis or cabs to take people home, mm -hmm. and that can cause more of the assaults, which they're trying to cut down. So I think it's it's definitely not the sole answer. I do understand why they do it, because, you know, do you really need to be drinking until 6 a.m.? I mean, some people can handle that, a lot of people can't. Uh, I think if it went more back on the individual, I think it'd have a lot better results. If an individual messes up, but they do do that with the scanners and stuff, I mean, in general, like, if, you know, if someone gets in a fight, don't only ban it from the nightclub, arrest them, charge them. You know, maybe one warning or something, there's got to be a balance. I think the individuals need to take more responsibility for themselves. And this is coming from a bartender's perspective, yeah. in general. Yeah. Like, um, like I said, I've worked in clubs for years, like nightclubs and pubs, going on 10 years, and it's just slap on the wrist to stop and do it, they don't learn their lessons. They go out, they have a three month ban, I go out and get a fight again the next time, and they just take another three months off. Oh, like the statistics are saying that yes, there's less assaults. Yes, there's less this, there's less that, but are they really a reflection of the amount of people that are going out in town? Because I, I know for a fact that a lot of people don't go out because they have to be in by 1am or, or 1.30, depending on where you are, and then you have to be home by 3.30, like it really limits their night, so they don't bother. So yes, the statistics are going to show that it's down, but it's because the number of people going going out is down. Yeah, there isn't that. It's just fucking... You're not going to fix it overnight either. Yeah. But I think, in, was it in New York, where they in the late 80s, where they just had a, like a... They just rolled through town and if you were fucking up, they just locked you up 24 hours or three days or whatever it was and it cleaned up that city massively. I don't think it needs to be quite that to that quote extent because people aren't getting mugged in front of the street, they're not getting, you know, what kind of shit. Excuse me. But people are getting, well, I've seen the police and, and someone get thrown out of the club for being violent and I've seen the police like, you can't fucking kill you, pop you, fucking dogs, blah, 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 all this shit and that's how I'm mate. Why is their power? Why can't they use their power and arrest the guy? Look, for hours. Well, guys, pissing on the bar or whatever. Why, why should I have to shut my night? I finish work at one a.m. and I can't go out after work. I can't go and have a drink. I have to go home and have a drink oh. because of people who fuck it up for everyone. And that's another thing. Hospitality people as well. Like they're the ones who miss out as well. They're the ones who sacrifice their weekends for these people. For every for the majority of people going to have a good time. Like, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm, I, oh, I, I own this drink, so it's a bit different now, but when I work in bars, I would love to have weekends up people take my drink. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but we can't, like, we, we don't get out of here. We finish at quarter past one, probably most Friday, Saturday nights. And by the time we do, like, you're in a mad rush, like, we can't go home and have a shower and go out. So you go straight there, so you work close, kind of stinking it up a bit. Yeah, we, we, as far as the as as losses, you used to be able to go to, I used to drive to the beach at six in the morning and see people standing out front having a beer and it's like, and yeah, a lot of them were kind of, they'd had a few, but like um, even talking about the, the guy sitting on the end of the bar there on the camera that um, was there, was sitting on his own. Mm -hmm. He was saying like he, he used to do shift work, he'd sit at six o'clock in the morning and he'd have to sit on his veranda and have a beer when he knocked off work. Yeah. And people used to think he was a drunk because they'd, why shouldn't he be able to finish work and go for beer just like the bloke? That's what, that's where I think there's a really hard, they're, they're really harsh on people who are like, who do sacrifice their nights, who do sacrifice their weekends, they can't go out and enjoy a social time.